Hello everybody, I'm Chief here and welcome to Aperture Desk Job. This is a game I found on Steam. It's meant for the Steam Deck, but it's also optimized to be played on a controller. So that's what we're going to do here. This is an interesting one where you play a quality control drone, I guess, in a totalitarian company that is just absolutely... You do your work, you don't walk away from your work, everything is work, work, work. So, we're gonna get to work. Um, I played like five minutes of this, and it's actually rather impressive, so we're gonna jump right in. Hope everybody's doing great. Happy Sunday to you. This is when I'm recording this. I know I've been, uh, I've been streaming quite a bit lately, trying to get some things worked out so where I can get a little smoother stream, um, considering starting up another channel for my streams instead of doing them here. Um, haven't decided whether I'm going to carry through with that, so keep an eye out for, if I do, it'll be Firehouse Live. Keep an eye out for that. Let's jump into Aperture Desk Job. And it may be a little loud. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. It's good music. Look at all those tubes <laughs> stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. That's going to be me. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. Big-ass playground. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us and... By us, I mean Look, all of us, up. all of humanity, down. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God no. gave you these gifts. I'm <laughs> giving you the opportunity to use them. That is well, wasted. Well, here's it. your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton. Einstein. Wait a minute. That's, now you. That's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck. World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, yep. uh, you are a uh, product inspector. Oh, product inspector. So that is your okay. inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. One. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't it's, it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. I, you'll probably be fine. Good luck. And away we go. I don't have L4 and 5 and R4 and 5. So hopefully that won't be a problem. I didn't get that far. All right, so we're going to test a toilet. OK, easy enough. So we'll hold X. Uh-huh, water. Hold Y, butt on the seat. And yeah, shouldn't, uh, I guess it's got a bidet. I don't know. And flush. Ding, move. All right. And water. Butt on the seat. Too much water. It flushes. All right, on we go. Hopefully this isn't all I do. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Oh, Look, yeah, it's not rocket be. science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> yeah. Okay, yep. good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait, hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. Nope. You know what? 
It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move well, it down the line. I mean, and we're going to put it out. Problem. All right, let's see what happens. You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. But on the seat. Do you hear that? That does Hold not on, sound I'll, right. Let me take a look. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam in here. Can you get me out of here, please? Yeah, Thank sure. You. Hold on. Nope. I'm just wet now. Nope, that wasn't it. Nope. No. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper in. It's working. Keep pressing the button. I'm there we go. Uh-oh. Just uh -oh. test it. Get it out of here. Oh. So, first off, I I think we're first in a off, lot of trouble here. I think that's bad. Now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to look good. I mean, just right. pretend the most you've ever. You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. Uh, got it. Pretend the ammunition firing toilet never happened. Got it. All right. Butt on the seat. Where are we going? I was hoping the man is would get electrocuted. And six months later, I have grown in, not in job, hey, but I'm in back. boredom. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Yay. Presenting. The toilet. Press, you gotta press the button. Presenting, press the, <laughs> presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. What button is that? The controls are right there on your desk. Oh. Yeah. And I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. <laughs> Shooting! You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that. So let me just turn I it around. I want one. <laughs> All right. Shoot again. Don't worry. It's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You this time died. it's safe. Holy moly, man. That is great. Oh, man. The turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't I even think worry about everything it, broke. Because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Oh Introducing the Mark God. II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month what? for the first turret, <laughs> and then like five for this bad boy. Oh, man. You got to take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. There you Moment go. recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Sure. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, what? a part fell off. Keep going, though. A toilet with a rocket launcher. Okay, go launcher. crazy. All those controls. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit's falling off. What's a minigun? There? Okay, go crazy. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. Okay, go crazy. Uh, All those controls do something. Oh, well, my minigun's gone. Oh, also, some of the crates you're shooting at might explode. Don't oh, worry good. About that. Oh, they, they might. You know, Seriously, 50, 50. go on. You're not going to break it. I mean, I hope you don't break it. That's the only one. Um, Everything you can see on it shoots something. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with it. 
Even the, I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar, and yep, here we are. Hey, 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 you shouldn't be there. Don't aim that way. Yes! Uh-oh. Uh oh I... I... I was never here. Uh... This... This is bad. This might be bad. Wow. Alright. That... So some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of Man. it. Like 90%. I, or even higher, maybe. But... Maintenance some of the of testing lab? Great! So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can. So, okay, that's the police. So one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Because they're, this is a lot of damage, and they're gonna look into this. This is where I get which job, screwed over. Which job do you want? How about I fix the turret, and then you take, yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, you, uh... if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? <laughs> don't say anything. It was Grady. Oh, the Manises have a little city. Made that in six months? I'm impressed. Oh, well, looky there, I'm in prison. Oh, good. Thanks, Grady. Hey, well, I mean, wow, you are the best. Oh, but Thanks look, I got my mouth shut and toilet. doing your time. I mean, it was way more time than later. either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, Offender has been granted supervised early release. I was a Please good boy. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. Uh, 24601. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Employee 24601. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Employee 24601. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Type your name. Billy... Bad ass with Type your name a into the desk. Toilet gun. I hope I don't have to sign that. Moving on. Now, sign your name. Um, shit. Billy. Billy. Yeah. As a condition of supervised early release. Parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. Oh, That's right. That makes I'm me feel so much officer. better, Grady. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Right. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Oh, yeah. Let me just throw that over my shoulder. What the fuck am I supposed to bring that? Oh, okay. That works. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark Three. Oh, we're gonna do this again. Ta da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. 
Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. Oh yeah, because I'm sure that's gonna... I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. You think you'd give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact one. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it. What about like yeah. a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you got a dragon and a knife, and mine's similar, but more robot -y. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Oh. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Uh, what? It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim. How much did the tattoo hurt when you gave it to yourself? Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that light. All right, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. Yeah. So I was saving the best for last. But while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner oh, of the company. Okay. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Are you ready? Well, let's ready go. to be rich. This is not gonna end well, I just know it. Well, they've got a bigger city now. Oh, it's cool. They didn't forget the manises. Oh. Uh. uh <laughs> the gates of hell have opened up. What are you going to do with your share of the money? I know what I'm going to do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Why do I see this going really bad? Or I'll, really I fast. mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG. I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. That doesn't sound good. It's an ominous huh. thing. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh jeez, it's got a gun! It's an ambush! Oh. Man, you got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spears. Okie dokie. I knew it! It's the housewares department! How did they find out about our tournament? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. Anybody else want some? Oh, you do, huh? I really right. think they're gonna keep coming for like basically forever. Housewares, man, can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of what did we ever even do to them? Well, I mean, 
it is still their ship. Great. Great. Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not going to survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real quick. Automatic desk launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are both ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. Three. Two. One. We have liftoff. And away we go! That didn't sound good. Oh. Crap. I think I okay, just broke everything. Nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay. Let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one have... quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. Oh, but it turns out, good. I didn't know this. It turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he this might be a millionaire great. recluse now. So be ready for that. Well, the there ominous, might be a lot of jars. The ominous music tells Hello, me there's gonna be a problem. Mr. Johnson? Uh, okay. Please tell me that's a big statue of his head. Mr. Johnson? Are you here? That's not a big statue of his head, is it? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. Oh, yeah. Okay. It is. No, Good. no. Not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. Oh, I'm going to level go. with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, uh -huh. make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? They made you a giant <laughs> statue Off head? by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan oh. was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So, they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my Great. robot body? Still under the head, somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh, I don't know, I panicked. <laughs> killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. This Been trying to get somebody's well me, attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're oh, breaking great. me out of prison. <laughs> I'm just data now. I'm probably I need to going crack back to prison. this big playhead open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, sure. you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Well, I'm waiting. I get it. It feels weird to shoot at the boss, but it's what he wants. Whoa! That'll work. To be honest, I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. But you are geniuses. He called us geniuses. Well, that's good. Right between the eyes. Oh no! 
know. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Uh, sure. Is it working? I'm in the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but you're the egghead. I don't think it's working, but keep shooting. It's making him happy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Up, oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All now right. what? Suffering ended in three. Uh, get a big two. stinky check. Uh oh. Uh. Backup power activated. Thought so. Uh. You're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. <laughs> Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh oh. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment uh, for murder is? Not sure. They about told that. us in parole officer school. You're not gonna like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should. Yeah, we 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 should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. It's technically not murder if he's a robot head and dead already, right? Oh, we broke the we broke their city. Aw. Months later. Morning, it Charlie. Long? It's me. Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey. It's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. He's got a tattoo. You know, come to think of it, he got the you tattoo think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same. Except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. Flump. <laughs> well, there's the big head. That's ominous. What's it doing? <laughs> oh, the toilets are singing. I'm sure that's not bad, right? What the fuck?
jello cake. Nice. Okay, so that is Aperture Desk Job. That was actually kind of interesting and shorter than I expected it to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to check it out for yourself, if you have a Stream Deck or not, I keep saying that, if you have a Steam Deck or not, if you want to check it out for yourself and enjoy it, all the toilet shooting madness, it'll be linked in the video description down below so you can try it out. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like down below. Let me know what you think in the comments section as well. Like and get subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the interesting toilet madness that will incur. Hope you all are doing well. It's Sunday. Have a great week, and I'll see you all in the next video.